Willie Walsh, Chief Executive of International Airline Group, formerly Chief Executive of British Airways. Thank you very much indeed. Thank you for joining us here. Um, we've been talking about marketing, so let me um, start by talking about the British Airways brand, which has taken some knocks in recent years, what with Terminal 5 and the dispute with the unions and so on. Um, when you took on the unions, how conscious were you of the danger of damaging the brand? Uh, you're always conscious of uh, anything you do that might impact on the brand, but the brand is incredibly strong and it's incredibly resilient. And uh, we had to weigh up the um, success of the business and the viability of the business against impacting on the, on the brand. And what was fascinating, actually, was that uh, throughout that period of dispute with the trade unions, we actually had fantastic loyalty. Um, our customer satisfaction scores went up. Uh, we had remarkable support from our customers right throughout that period. And I think people realized that we were doing something that had to be done and therefore made some allowances for the impact that it was having on the business and the impact that it was having on the brand. And clearly now what we're doing is you know, rebuilding uh, I think very successfully rebuilding to ensure that we uh, you know, put the brand back where it uh, always has been in the past. And I, and I think it is uh, definitely recovered. Because the impression one might have got from you personally was that it was more important to get the airline's costs down and deal with what you saw as this industrial relations problem than it was to protect the, the value of the brand. Well, I, I remember, I'm, I'm not a finance guy, um, and I'm not a marketeer, uh, but I remember many years ago when I took over as the CEO of Erlingus, um, my CFO at the time, a guy called Brian Dunn, uh, we were at a, a meeting where people were talking about how we might impact on the brand. Um, and Brian sat there very patiently, and I don't know if there are any accountants in the building, but uh, probably not. Um, but. Uh, he sat there very patiently through this meeting, long meeting, and listened to what was going on. And at the end, he stood up and he said, look, he said, I'll show you the value of the brand. And he just held up the accounts. And we were going out of business. He said, the brand has no value if we're out of business. So he said, we've got to rescue the business first. First and foremost, we've got to survive the crisis. And after that, we can start looking at what we need to do with the brand. And he was absolutely right. You know, there are fantastic brands that no longer exist because the business wasn't viable. So having a great brand is no guarantee of success. You've got to have a great brand combined with a great and successful business. And that to me is uh, you know, what was the critical factor in what we were doing. We had a cost base that was unsustainable. It had to be tackled and we had to do it uh, in a serious and robust and determined way.